What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zame from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to sample audio from YouTube or any platform that you prefer to sample the audio, right? So we are gonna use loopback features of my interface and my interface is SSL2+, right? This is a very straightforward method. If you have any interface that uses the loopback features, you can just follow the step along and you can pretty much do exactly what I can do with this SSL2 plus interface, all right? But if you are using SSL2 plus or 2, you can just follow the next step, which is to install the loopback drivers, all right? So let's go ahead and check them out. So you have to go to Google and type SSL2 loopback driver, right? Or 2 plus, whichever version that you have. And by the way, this is my video that I've created before for Cubase and Studio One users. If you are using SSL loopback, you guys can check that out. If you want to know how to use that for Cubase and Studio One. If you want to record a, a video or live streaming, you can use that method using Cubase or Studio One. Okay, I'm going to scroll down and uh, go to this link here, SSL2 slash 2 plus firmware updates. Right, you have to go to this website and you have to download the driver so you can install the loopback the firmware right this is very important without this you won't be able to do what i'm about to do right which is sampling from youtube so let's go and install that okay once you have installed that you have to restart your computer so once you have restart the computer you will have the firmware installed to your computer and now and then you will be able to get the signal coming from other sources for instance the youtube or even your computer sound right okay so i'm going to go to mpc beats right now okay in order for you to sample you need to go to this sampler and the shortcut key is control 8 right so once you are in this window or in this page you have this option here you can see this is the input channel so input 1 and 2 is my audio interface. This is my mic. I'm talking with my left mono signal. So which is why you only see one signal on the left. So the input is coming here. But the thing is I'm not going to be recording my vocal. So this is not really important right now. And all I want is to be able to record the audio coming from YouTube or coming straight from my computer sound. This input 1 and 2 we have to change it to input three and four because three and four is the loopback feature right so once i've done that okay i'm gonna go ahead and find some video where i can play let me go here okay let me go and click my video right here so i'm gonna hit play good everybody welcome back to my channel i'm zamir from xcc tunes in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to so you can see as i play the video right here you can see that the signal is coming through here right let me play it again use ssl loopback to record the audio so i'm getting signal right now from youtube which then i can record straight to mpc all right so now let's go ahead and sample my audio right now okay and i'm gonna hit play from studio one to welcome back to Okay, I'm going to play this video from the beginning and I'm going to sample that directly to MPC Beat right now. So let's do that. But before that, I'm going to touch on something else, which is the record method. So we have four types of methods that we use to sample. So, but the most common one is sample and slice. So sample is the standard way of just recording the audio to MPC Beats. And the other method is by slicing the audio when we are sampling okay but since i'm actually recording an audio like talking audio it's not really a, a music so i don't want to be using the slice because that doesn't make sense i don't have any tempo reference for me to slice so i'm going to put the sample here and i'm going to go ahead and hit play What's good? and i'm going to record this i'm going to just press the record first record arm and press start everybody welcome back to my channel i'm zamir from xcc tunes in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use 
SSL loop back to record the audio from Studio One to OBS and then you can use it to edit your video or post it. Okay, so that's, that's enough. Okay, so now that I recorded it and I press stop and I got this window which is asking me whether I want to keep this or discard the sample. Right, so I would like to just name them. It's always important to name them and you can choose the program that you want. I think the default is the program 001. All right, then let's keep this. Uh, but before that thing, I want to edit this one right here. So edit is very important because you see there is some kind of noises here. I think this is a metronome sound, which I don't want at all. And I'm going to just cut that part. I think until here. Uh, let's just do it until here then. Okay, yeah, that's good. So now I'm gonna discard this. Let's do discard. All right. So now when I hit play video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use SSL. All right. So now the audio is recorded s straight from YouTube, and then I can chop it. I can do whatever I want with that. You know, this is the most simplest and easiest way to get a clean recording straight from YouTube to MPC beats or mpc2 software all right so if you guys find this video helpful please make sure to subscribe turn on notification smash the like button and share this video to everybody thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video